Hello everybody, it's me, Granddaddy Love Cars, and I want to make this video today to show y'all how to change the spark plugs in this 2 liter Ford Hybrid mo uh, motor. This is my Ford Fusion Hybrid. Y'all have seen me work on this before. I'm changing the oil right now. I usually use Mobile One 020. I don't necessarily get the one that say hybrid on it, but I guess that's something special. I got a few little tools, some sockets, things of that nature. So I'm going to just start by taking this here cover off so I can get to the spark plugs himself. Now, I bought NGK Platinum spark plugs. And this is a four-cylinder, so there are four spark plugs in here. That's all you need. There's no... Two spark plug, one cylinder, four and one. It's just four spark plug, one per cylinder. So I'm gonna start by undoing these here bolts that go to the air filter. Engine air filter, if I must add. So take this off and set it to the side. And this air filter is new, so I don't got to worry about replacing it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I'm going to pull this harness out, undo this. Oh, too big. Let me get a smaller socket. This was an 8 millimeter. Let me downsize. I'm going to take this air hole. Undid that. Let me tighten this up. It's always when they're going to act up. So let me do it by hand. I'm going to finish that up off video. And I'm going to also take this off the side right here. I'm going to use a, a socket so I can get sideways on it. And I forgot I mentioned these smaller size are uh, 7 millimeter. So like I said, I took this one out. This off, this off. Let's see if this comes up. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to... Take a few more things off. Let me take this out. Took that out. And I don't want to remove whatever this is, but I'm going to. Okay. I got to take one more thing. Like I said, bolt there, undo this clamp, take this out, sensor out, another bolt, and take this air hose out as well. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the hardest part of this entire job. Now that that's up, and actually, if y'all want to know something, the way this vehicle is built, the cover is built into the actual intake design. So where the air actually breathes in, it breathes in from here, runs through, and, and it goes into your engine. Through this, your engine cover is your essentially your air intake. And I'm going to take something and clean this out and off as well. But until in the meantime, let's focus on the main thing. That's the spark plugs. This car has 122,000 miles on it. I'm letting my oil drain. And I'm literally just going to uh, take my clamps off. And I, I'm going to do it one by one so you don't confuse yourself. Swap coils and what cylinders they go to. Like I said, it's nothing but a two liter four-cylinder hybrid motor take this clamp off and we're gonna do this one first 
So I'm going to say problem number one is not a problem, but a little obstacle is that this is long. This little bolt on here. Yet, it's an 8 millimeter. I don't have a long 8. So, I'm about to figure something out. So, of course, I figured I was going to have to do this. But, I had to just get a 5 16, which is equivalent to an 8 millimeter. And just, I'm going to just have to take it slow. Uh oh, sorry. I'm going to take it slow. Luckily, I don't take too much. But that's that one. Let me go back to the OG one. Let's see if I can break it. It's turning ever so slightly. I mean... And this is one thing about working on your own vehicle is that you may have to know how and do it. It's just sometimes things are not always the most convenient. Sometimes just take a little patience. So you see that came right off. I'm going to take this ignition coil straight up and try your hardest not to get any dirt in there at all. Now, one thing I don't have, I don't think I'll look. I don't have any dielectric grease to put on that boot, but it's okay. I do have antecedents. Now, this is a regular 5.8 spark plug socket. Don't forget when you're doing spark plug, try to keep everything as straight as possible. And I'm literally just going to... Let me use two hands, y'all. <clears throat> now, I definitely use two hands. It ain't really seasoned there, but it's a little, it's a little firm. Just take your time and do, do not rush this. Do not use, even if this motor has 60,000 miles, do not use power tools, air tools. Take your time with spark plugs and use your hand because if you thread this, you in a world of trouble. You just take your time and it'll eventually get looser and looser. Now let's see what a spark plug looks like on a 122,000 2 liter Ford hybrid motor. And if it's ever been placed or if this has a motorcraft spark plug inside of it. No, that spark plug, it's actually not horrible. It's not horrible at all, actually. Let's look at the new one. You see this? This is probably an original spark plug because it says FOMOCO, which means Ford Motor Company, which Motorcraft is the parts used by Ford, but FOMOCO is factory, straight out the manufacturing plant and honestly it's a pinch of little maybe a little pinch of carbon on there but the spark plug itself is not that bad it's, it's a little gap though if you can look this much more gapped out so let's see and I'm going to tell y'all something wrong I do. You're supposed to check the gap, but granddaddy ain't checking nothing. Well, granddaddy just looked up in two ways. Because one, I got antices. Just regular antices. Ain't nothing special. 
and I have dielectric grease. So let me show y'all how to reassemble this spark plug. Okay, so what I like to do is take it in the socket. Now, it's a little bit of rubber or whatnot that keeps this seated. Now, technically, I heard on the internet, you don't have to anesthetize spark plugs no more. Not on the part where the spark is going to On the thread only. Please only on the thread. Don't over overdo it either. But I'm old school. I'm granddaddy. Of course, I'm going to anesthetize my spark plug. Now, it's in there. Make sure it ain't going to fall out. You're going to do the same thing. Don't get no dirt in there. Put it in there. I take that socket, the actual ratchet off, and just find the easiest, least amount of tension and friction and just turn it in. Keep it straight. Turn it in until it don't turn no more. Turn it in so it don't turn no more. Turn it in. Turn it in. Turn it in. It's still turning, so just turn with it. Just be patient. Now, some cars have a torque spec for spark plugs. Some don't. But I'm going to give you the granddaddy torque spec. I'm going to get this thing bottomed out. Give it a good old tug. and That's going to be one down see I'm not really forcing it I'm just letting it go I'm not using much pressure at all it's still going it's still going it's still going now stop I'm gonna give a one two uh, that's good now I pull it out and since I have dielectric grease Take this. You're going to take your grease. Now, if this was a deep, deep, deep uh, boot, I might take a Q-tip. Not a Q-tip, but like a toothpick. And I would rub it all in there. But I'm just going to put a little hit. Just to, uh, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm doing it with one hand. So let me do it. Uh -oh. So I'm, I'm just, you know, just giving it a little lubrication. Now, align it back up. And all you're doing is literally, don't get no dirt in there. Putting it on here. Line the, where the bolt go. You should hear a snap of some sort. You might feel it, you might not feel it. Sometimes if you don't feel it too tough, it may be make you nervous, but Make sure you just put this down all the way. Try to press it down as further as far as you can. No, it's actually a lot of space back here. Now, like I said, this is a funny one. I don't have a V8, so I'm going to take my socket. I got a 516, or you may have an 8 millimeter. And you're going to want to just get it as tight as you can. Uh-oh. There we go. That was a good one. And you want to just keep doing that.
I don't want to go crazy. It's still essentially plastic, but just make sure it's tight. That's good. Now, I'm literally going to take this, and like I said, one at a time so you don't confuse yourself and then start hop, skipping, and jumping, and not in a good way. And literally, all I'm going to do is use a socket for these two, one at a time. All right, loosen it. Use the wrench for that one. Replace them. Anaseize, dielectric grease. I'm going to put it back together and I'm going to clean that up and finish my oil change. I love uh, Mobile. I don't say I love Mobile One, but it's a good brand. I use that. And one other thing I want to say. See, I kept this on while I was doing this only because I didn't want no dirt or debris to get in there. Now, Granddaddy hot and sweaty, but I just want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you do your car maintenance on time or ahead of time not too late sometimes once you're too late you're too late change your spark plugs change your oil do not change your oil 10,000 miles I don't care what that jug of oil says five to seven thousand miles five to seven thousand miles change your oil Rotate and balance your tires, get alignments, change your spark plugs, change your filters. Those things are simple things that are usually under $100 that can make a car run smoother and longer for, uh, run smooth and efficient for a longer period of time. I'm not saying it's I want to sell y'all anything I'm saying because I love y'all. I know you don't want your car breaking down on the side of the highway. But I thank y'all for watching. I'm going to say this Pro Charger. Of course, if y'all watching, please sponsor me because Alfred is ready to go fast. Stay tuned if you want to see more Alfred work. Wear your seatbelt. Don't drink and drive. Don't phone and drive. Say your prayers when you wake up and before you go to bed. Granddaddy love y'all. Peace.